the happiest moment of my life was when Bond was placed on my chest and I heard him cry. I don't know if it's because I had been to the absolute depth valley that that high place felt so high. I just, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thanked everybody in the room. It's just so grateful. And that gratitude I think has, has lived with us every single day. I kind of had a lot of guilt about those moments. Like, is it okay that he makes me so, so happy? And it is, it's okay. And you can have grief and sadness and happiness and those can sit beside each other. And that's, that's my experience as a rainbow parent. He suffered a traumatic brain injury throughout the course of his birth, and he was alive for six days on life support, and we got to love him and snuggle him, and he got to meet his sister. We got to say goodbye to him. When we think about it, still some of the hardest and most treasured moments that we have. Since we said goodbye to his, his body, we find his soul all around us. Rainbows are kind of our little little peek into the heavens and every time we see a butterfly or a rainbow or a dolphin or any of that we always say hi McCoy, hi brother that's our way of keeping him here with us We welcomed his little brother, Vaughn, Mac, Bosworth. The Mac was um, gonna be McCoy's nickname. He was born six days shy of what would have been McCoy's first birthday. It's wild when we just look at this little rainbow baby thinking that he wouldn't be here if his brother hadn't, hadn't gone to heaven first. And um, it's just crazy because even finding out he was a boy was just such a get too that we still get to have a son here on earth and you know we get to look at this little blonde haired boy and think about what our other blonde haired boy would be doing you know we just look forward to uh to watching him grow he started school today and everyone's like oh did you cry i'm like no no, watching him grow is the joy of my life, you know? Like you think you want them to stay little until you know what it's like for them to stay little and frozen in your mind. And then you're like, no, grow, baby, grow. Every day is an amazing uh, reminder of, of how he is growing and what he does and his milestones. And, you know, you look back and be like, oh, I wonder where, you know, McCoy would be at this time. And you just slow down more in life. Like you just take in more things and your surroundings and stuff. And you just like, I don't know, something about going through a loss, you end up uh, you know, taking on all the small things that surround you. It was, you know, really worrisome about having an older daughter that is getting, gone through it as well being so young like we didn't know how she would kind of uh, continue to grow with it and it's it's amazing that she still remembers and honors him so finding out that he was called a rainbow baby she's like oh I gotta tell everyone we've got one of these so she tells everyone she knows my brother's actually a rainbow baby and that means you know there was some rain when my other little brother died but then he's our rainbow and he's just all our happiness we love him she's just hysterical about it there's a sense of community there with the rainbow families and people that understand you know a bit of the worries but also the the absolute joy bombs that these children are for us and i was encouraged by other rainbow mamas to to like lean into that feeling like it's okay that you want another baby as quickly as possible that doesn't mean you're replacing him you just are ready to to expand your heart and put it other places too to make the the experience that you have public and, and kind of be a, an advocate if you will of 
of people who, who mourn and, and hurt in silence. Um, you just hope that it, it, it lessens the blow for the future um, experiences that people will in inevitably have. Even if it's one, one person, one parent, one woman that says, I feel this, thank you for giving words to the feeling that I'm having. And so I don't have to feel this alone. And a couple of them have even gone so far as to tell me that they've named their next child after McCoy, which is a crazy honor. We're previewing what the rooms will look like at the new NICU, um, thanks to all the donations for Wolfson's Children's Hospital in McCoy's honor. When you're a parent that's experienced the loss of a child in any form, you already feel like you've been struck by lightning a little bit. I didn't tell him when I was pregnant. I hid for seven, seven and a half months. He was born early. I wanted to just close my eyes until he was here. And they don't actually talk about parenting a rainbow baby and how there's, you know, a lot of pent up kind of worry um, that you'll get struck by lightning again. So there's a little of that and you just have to just line. sit in the joy a lot because you have to just shake off a little bit of the clouds that can come with the worry of parenting your little, little rainbow.